Anyone can create a short in a heartbeat, but creating shorts that actually get views is a skill. I've been studying content of some of the biggest creators out there, and I came across five steps that they all implement in their video editing. I've actually implemented these steps to one of my clients, and he went from having 3,000 followers to 50,000 in less than a month when this one short blew up with over 9 million views. Here's a look at two different videos. Both are educational videos. Which one do you think got the most views? Well, you got it correct, it's the right one. Now, why do you think this is? The trick lies within the editing. As you can see, it has cuts, it has captions, it has VFX, it also has some B-roll in there. Overall, there's just a lot more movement going on on the video on the right. Now, the average viewer has an attention span of just eight seconds. I'm not kidding, that's even less than a goldfish has. So what we want to do is we want to constantly stimulate their brain with some movement going on on the screen. And if you do it correctly, then you get the most amount of average view duration and the average view duration is exactly what youtube wants you to focus on because the longer you keep the viewer on the screen the more ads will pop off the more money youtube makes so if they see that your video has a high average view duration then they will show it to more viewers and this will generate more views for your channel but editing these kind of shorts actually take up a lot of your time this video that i did for my client it took like eight hours to create and this other video right here it took like six so how do you still make high quality content without spending so much time on the editing part. Well, I recently came across a tool that does all of the editing for you with just one click. And I'm not the only one using it. Take a look at David Goggins, Chris Williamson and Grant Cardone. They have all been using this for a while now. So the tool that I'm talking about is called Submagic.co and I'm not sponsored by them, but I really like their tool. If you use my discount code DANKEEF90, you will get a 10% off and I will earn a small commission, which will help support the channel. So let's get started by editing our YouTube short. As you can see, Submagic works as follows. This is a video without using Submagic and this is one with. So let's log in and create our own video. The first step is uploading your video. So I already have my short right here and this was a one take for me, but if you have videos that are already cut it out, then that would work perfectly. So I'll just give it a name. Now we hit upload and this will take a few seconds, depending on your internet speed and all of that. Our video is now uploaded and now we can start editing it. So the first step is adding in the captions and it has already done this for us and this is what it looks like. Here's a tool that I would recommend if you are creating YouTube Shorts, TikToks or Instagram Reels. The tool is called Submagic and... So what Submagic has done is it has created all these captions for us. It has taken that with AI, it has done a transcription and here we can see the transcription of it. If there are any mistakes in there, we can edit this right here. And we can also change up the lining. For example, if I add a line break right here, then it starts the next word on a new line. So I don't want that right here because I think two lines looks better. So I'm gonna just remove it. And now our captions look perfect. What I would highly recommend is make your own custom style. We have all of these different styles from Submagic. So let's check out a few. Let me just play the video for you so you can watch them. Let me also position it a little bit higher. And these are the styles that are currently on Submagic. So we have this one, then we have this one, the next one. This one is pretty animated as well. Then we have another Homozy effect, this David one, Iman Gatsi one. I really like this personally. I think this looks really, really clean. Then we have the Ali Abdal one. I love this one as well. Then Mr. Beast, some other ones, Nova effect. And you can also create your own custom fonts. So I have like five custom fonts right here. And I would highly recommend you to create your own custom font. If you want to create your own custom font, you do the as followed. You select the one that you like. For example, let's do this one. Then you click edit. Here you can upload your own font. And then you can change all of the colors. You can change the shadows. You can change the words per caption. You can do all of this, change the color as well. Then you can give it a name and now you can save it and then you have your own custom subtitle font, which looks awesome to me. This will at first take you some time to create your own team, but once you have that and it is in your brand colors, for example, then it will save you so much time when editing all of your videos. You can simply just hit the style that you like. For example, I like this one. And then you can just 
watch over the captions, and then you're done with your subtitles. The next editing effect that most creators use in their videos is emojis. And to add emojis, we go over to captions. And here, for example, we can click on a word that we want to add an emoji to. Then we click on plus. And for example, right now I'm talking about tool. So I'm just gonna type in tool. And here it comes up with like a toolbox, but I would like to have like a wrench. So let's do something like this. And now the tool pops up. Here's a tool that I would recommend. And what you can even do is you can go into your style. I am into my style right here. Now we can have the emojis on auto and now we can turn on the animation. So I'm just gonna create this theme and now it should work as followed. Here's a tool that I would recommend. This works on some of the emojis, so let me give you a example. This is slightly animated, um, just because it's so short you barely see it. But if you are creating like longer words, so I'm just doing like one or two words per line. If you have like longer lines, then it will have an animated emoji in there. So mine looks like this. Videos. So I have like on the word edit, I have this one pop up. So now to each of your sentences, you can add some emojis if you'd like. And then when you're done with that, we move over to the next part and that is B-roll. So it is pretty boring to look at my face all the time. And even like, for example, when I'm looking like right there, that's a part where you could add some B-roll in there. And also to have more movement in your videos, I would definitely recommend adding some B-roll. With Submagic, you can do that as followed. On each of these sentences, you can click on the plus button and here you have a few options to add in your B-roll. So we can add a B-roll section right here. We can type the word that we're looking for. So let me just check what I was saying. This tool is called Submagic and it will literally edit. So I'm gonna go with edit. Now it finds stock footage through, I believe it is pixels. And now you can add this into your video. So now I can also add a transition. I'm gonna do this cool burn effect. And now on this section, or Instagram Reels, the tool is called Submagic. And what is on this section, we have this B-roll. And it is just awesome that you can do this with a tool that's just like a website. You don't even need a program like Premiere. You can just do it in here. So what's also cool is you can replace it with your own B-roll. So if you have custom or specific B-roll that you'd like to add, then you can just upload it to Submagic and now you can use that for your video. So step number four is adding in transitions. And I kind of showed you already, you have these different transitions available and you have the film burn, which will look like that. Then you have the vintage effect. We have a zoom out, we have a zoom fast. We have a comic, which kind of looked like a meme. And then we have zoom slow. Personally, I like the film burn and the vintage effect the most, so I'm gonna use them. And let me just show you what this looks like. It adds B-roll and it also adds some VFX in there. You can completely customize it yourself. So if you want to change the length of the B-roll, then you head over to this and you can change it like, so this way the duration is a little bit shorter and it looks a lot nicer. The last step that I want you to implement into your YouTube Shorts is adding sound effects. Sound effects actually make your videos sound way cooler. They have some kind of pattern interrupt and this will help you with engagement. With Submagic, there are a few different ways where you can add sound. So the first one is like here. If we go to captions, we click on this sound icon and then we have all these different sounds. You should test them out for yourself. Let me just show you a few. This is a click effect, then we have the ding. So depending on what you're saying, you can actually add these sound effects. So I'm talking about the tools called Submagic. I'm just gonna go with a ding. Now you can change the volume as well. And there's also another way to add like music to your video. If we head over to publish, then we can add music right here. And this will be a nice touch up to make your video complete. Once you're done editing your video, you can use the publish button as well. And here you can see like an AI generated caption for your video. And you can use this yourself or you can just write it or you can use ChatGPT for this. But this is like a nice add-on to have. So here's the before and after of my video edited by Submagic. Here's a tool that I would recommend if you're creating YouTube Shorts, TikToks or Instagram Reels. The tool is called Submagic and what this will do is it will literally edit your videos with just one click. 
And by that, I mean it adds captions, it adds B-roll, and it also adds some VFX in there. You can completely customize it yourself. So if you want to create your own content with good looking captions like this, then head over to submit.co, use the discount code DANKEEF90 for an extra 10% discount. And now you can start creating awesome shorts. So that all sounds great, but this surely comes at a cost. And unfortunately, yes, Submagic isn't free. You can use their free trial, but it comes with a watermark. So I wouldn't recommend that. I would recommend going with the basic or the pro plan because this will allow you to create awesome looking shorts for a very affordable price. Outsourcing your video editing costs a lot of money, but by using Submagic, you can save so much money this will literally give you like 20 videos per month for just $16. And if you are interested in using this tool, then you can use the discount code DANKEEF90 and this will give you an extra 10% discount so you will save even more. If you're serious about creating content, then check out the pro plan. This will give you a much better price per short and also it gives you like a longer duration of shorts that you can upload. So that's also great for longer TikTok videos or also for like YouTube videos as well. Check out this video on the screen if you want to learn how to edit like Iman Gatsi.